hopefully win, hopefully win like one match in six tournaments. <laughs> I guess I've got to try and make sure that I get the pension. <laughs> I mean, if you'd have asked me two weeks ago, I might not have said that, but. I think the biggest thing is a bit, it's a relief, to be honest. Uh, I've been, you know, around 116 to 120 to 140 to 150 for like three, four years in a row now. Um, wasn't really that confident that I was ever going to break into the top 100. And it just kind of happened over the last few months, just, you know, continuous good results. I had some good results at the start of the year, and I think that's kind of what you need to break into the top 100 is, is that consistency. Yeah, the emotional Instagram post. My brother. <laughs> I don't know if I said it in the Instagram post, he, he was an estate agent in Manchester um, and I got him to quit his job and come travelling with me and help me out and stuff. Uh, I think he enjoys it as well, so that's a good thing. Dave I've worked with for almost 10 years, he's almost like uh, another, you know, a tennis father figure and I couldn't have done it without him. He's, he's a massive source of stability for me off the court as well. My mental coach Phil, I started working with him sort of 2018, 2019 and he's one of the best I've ever met, ever met at what he does, and obviously Kieran with his with his physical work. It's, there's so many different facets to, to just playing a tennis match. And, but you know, obviously, the higher you go in the levels of any anything, any sport, any business, it, it comes down to the to the smaller details. Would you say that you're playing the best tennis of your career? Yeah, without a doubt. Um, I mean, if you'd have asked me two weeks ago, I might not have said that, but, <laughs> but last week I played pretty well. So, uh, no, I'm feeling good. I, I think um, I've, I've kind of felt like this has been coming over the last two, three months. I've been pretty solid, pretty solid, and uh, and now feel you know like there's a bit of a weight off my shoulders and I can go and sort of have a swing at the last tournaments of the year. Is there anything that you've done differently that you think has impacted your performance? Um, I think a few little things that I won't share. Uh, <laughs> But I, I think I'm, I'm trying to focus way more on the process. I think if I look back over the, it's such a cliche, I know, but if I look back over the last few years when I've been at my most successful, when I first got to 116, I think was my career high before this year, um, I had a talk with Dave and my massive focus was, you know, let's just focus on improving as a player, playing the right way in matches. If you don't win the match, then so be it. Um, you know, if the ranking doesn't go up, so what? As long as you're improving, then, you know, the ranking will come eventually. And then I think it was around this sort of summer, myself and Dave had that conversation. Again, I was probably, sometimes it's easy to just become too focused on the outcome of the match that you're playing at that time. And uh, I think it's important to, to try and focus on the bigger picture sometimes. I think that's helped a lot. Are there any other milestones that you've got sort of on the horizon? I don't know. It was funny because I had um, an interview with a couple of guys um, I think it was Sanya Mirza and Nick McCarvel at, uh, at Wimbledon and they said, oh, what are your goals for the end of the year? And I said, oh, I want to make my pen my ATP player pension for the year. Um, and and Mirza was like, you gotta, you got to think bigger than that. Like, come on, like top 100. I was like, okay, yeah, sure, let's, let's go top 100. So I've achieved that one. But no, I, it, it's a tough one, I guess. I, I want to try and make a semi-finals of a 250. I want to try and make finals of a 250. I'd love to win one, as anyone would. Um, I'd love to win a few matches in a 500. I'm not sure I've ever won a match in a 500. There's so much that I haven't done yet. You know, this is new new ground for me. I'm, you know, first time in the top 100, and that's kind of what I'm excited about as well, is to see see what it's like. So I've got, I think, five or six more tournaments before the end of the year. I think I'll probably either finish in Tel Aviv at the 250 there, or maybe the week after in Sweden, they have a challenger in Danderyd. Um, and then after that, I think I might play, I play French club league for a, for a club in Loom Plage. Uh, so I might play three, three to five matches for them. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, they have really strong teams over there. I mean, I'm I'm on a team with Botic van der Zandschloop and Henry Larkson and I, I, I was a bit shocked at how strong the, the, the teams were over there. Uh, so I'll play that and then I'll go to Dubai for my pre-season and then hopefully main draw of Australia and then get two tournaments instead of one tournament before Aussie Open um, and, and see where we end up.